Okay. Um, so, so basically, once you're on the second floor here, guys, uh, the you you have to draw the interior walls, and you're going to want to use the same method we used on the first floor, where we inserted the JPEG of the floor plan, and we were tracing where those walls went. Um, unfortunately, since we have a second floor plate drawn in this view, we're not able to see the drawing behind it. So. Um, Revit has a couple of ways of letting you get around that visibility so that you can see things behind. Um, one of them is like you can select the image and you can do something silly like change your draw layer from background to foreground, but then you're not going to see your floor plan at all. You could work like that, it's not advisable because um, then you can't see what you're doing. So I suggest leave it on background, um, but what we're going to do is take that second floor um, like hover over one of your walls where you know the second floor, uh, yeah, where you know the second floor assembly stops, like where the edge is, and you can tab to select it like that. And once you select it, you can kind of see that you see it behind. Uh, also, if you don't like doing the tab method to select something, remember there's a visibility setting um, toward the bottom of your view, and let me just kind of get it calibrated for that. Uh, down here, or down, um, it's way down here. It's a little blue. I gotta pull it up so you see it. See this little blue, this little blue button right there with the red X and the blue panel. What that toggles is the select element by face feature. So click that um, so that the X goes away, and then you can just click on the floor plate. So you might be asking yourself, why am I just clicking on this floor plate? Well, you can override the visibility of that and then make it translucent so that you can see what's behind it. Unfortunately, you can't do that for the drawing element that you've inserted, but you can do it for the floor assemblies. So right click that, go to override graphics and view, and then by element. And um, what we're gonna modify is surface transparency. And we do this very, very frequently in the office. Um, just be very careful where you're doing this. And then when you're done, make sure you turn it back. Okay, the good thing is this is just in this view. We're going to talk about setting up like working views versus sheet views and stuff like that. But anyway, so um, I'm going to change it to 60%. And now when I hit escape, it looks like that. I can actually go in, draw my walls, and then reselect that floor plate and, and um, fix it to make it back to opaque later. Questions? No questions. All right. I trust that you're experts already.